Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, organics of all ages, I'm Double R, and in this video here, we are going to talk about the Martin Scorsese brouhaha. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Martin Scorsese brouhaha is, the Martin Scorsese brouhaha happens to be a brouhaha of bullshit. Let me explain what I mean. Martin Scorsese said in so many words that the superhero movies, the whole plot of them, the whole list of them, the whole shebang of them, Pretty much, superhero movies, not actual movies, they're theme park rides. I'll deal with that in a moment. But as to be expected when he put the statement out, Kevin Feige decides, as leader of Marvel Studios, to stand tall, stand fast, hold up his banner, and take a chance, replying to Martin Scorsese's tweet and statement months later. Uh huh. Really taking a chance there, uh, Kev. <sighs> huh. Anyway, he's starting to come up with things like, "You think we don't take chances?" Uh, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to stop you. One, you didn't even take a chance on a reply. You waited a good month or so before you even dared stand against Martin Scorsese. Strike one. Strike two. Happens to come up when you decided to bring out the whole list of Marvel movies that are in the pipeline. I'm pretty sure not all those Marvel heroes are going to Black Widow themselves. If you haven't seen Endgame yet, it's a little late to complain. Which leads to strike three. You have proven at least twice over already that you're not exactly one for taking chances. So it's a little late to complain. Now ain't it. But of course, when you have that kind of response, you inevitably will have other people from Disney slash Marvel coming up to complain about it. They got to play Black Panther, for instance. He, of course, had to say something. So you can imagine, as more movies are coming out, people are going to have to take their shots at Martin Scorsese. Now, that said, there are also people who spun this in a very strange direction. Superhero movies are an extension of white supremacy. There's a take, and then there's mental gymnastics of <coughs> big proportions, and you kind of won that one. Gold star, mental gymnastics. You go ahead, have fun. But let's talk about the Martin Scorsese quote, particularly, in particular, in, in specifically. Now, weaponized nerd rage, raise a fist, and a few others are like, we totally agree. Well, let me take that back. Weaponized nerd rage was a little bit more hesitant on agreeing. He agreed with part of it, didn't agree with another part. And I kind of find myself agreeing more with Weaponized than I did with Razor Fist. Let me explain. For those of you who know me in general, as I stated before, I can like your content. I can watch your shit almost 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, <gasps> including leap year. And in that case, it doesn't really matter to me because if I disagree with you, I disagree. So, let's go to the part where everyone seems to universally agree. The superhero films are like a theme ride. Almost universally, people agree here. So do I. I do technically agree with this. However, however, I also understand that Martin Scorsese comes from a time where things are a little bit different in what is considered cinema. Okay, now that we put that together, I will offer you two analogies. The first analogy will be using his own terms. Martin Scorsese said that the superhero films are pretty much theme park rides. Okay. Theme park rides will be my analogy for movies in general. All movies are like theme park rides. Let me explain what I mean by this. If you watch a horror movie, you're pretty much going through a ride of a haunted house. A fun house, if you will. Where things jump out at you, just supposed to surprise you, build up, to t uh, build up tension, atmosphere, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Ah, <laughs> 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 
って絶対全部ゴールまでいけないんだけどこんな状態じゃあーっびっくりしたね本当にびっくりしたで下から出てこないよね誰もあー待って待って待ってあ待って本当無理本当無理やめてやめてやめてやめて誰も触んないでさゆみに本当にやめて本当に怖い本当に怖いよ本当に怖いやだやだやだキャー待って触んないでさゆみに触んないでお願いやー無理無理やだ本当に無理なゆみどうしよう超本当に怖いですお化けなんかないさお化けなんかいないさお化けなんかないさ逆に怖いんだけどこれあー本当に無理怖い怖い怖い怖いなんかいらんじゃん怖いちょっと待って本当怖い本当怖い本当怖い本当怖い本当怖い本当怖い本当怖い本当怖いちょっと待って待ってお願い誰も触らないで道に一つも告知できず本当にこう勝てない。The teacup ride is like comedies. You go, you have fun, you just laugh, and you just have a good old time. That's it. Nothing special. Just comedy. Just throwing stuff out there. Same thing can be said with satires. It's kind of mocking the fact, oh, this could be a ride, but n e h Now, we come to the meat and potatoes. The two boxers in the ring. Theme park ride. Superhero film. Okay, superhero films. They're theme park rides. They are the roller coaster. Okay, thanks for the clip. They are pretty much a roller coaster. Get on, shut up, turn your brain off, enjoy the ride. That's it! That's it! Hands down, superhero films, that's it. Theme park ride, roller coaster. 100%, I agree. A. Plus. Gold star, good on noticing it, Martin Scorsese. Good game. However, you have missed something critical. r a z o r f i s t technically missed it because he just agreed to the whole thing. And let me explain what was missed. Weaponized Nerd Rage kind of touches on this with how Martin Scorsese is. Pointing out that when Martin Scorsese says movies, he means films, old cinematography being brought up. Everything needs to be taken in. Movies were actually work, work. 
they didn't rely on the CGI for everything. The scripts were actual scripts. They wanted you to think. They wanted you to take in the atmosphere. They wanted you to listen to the music. They wanted you to hear the sounds. They wanted you to notice these things. And they wanted you to process all that information, hopefully before the end of the film, so maybe you could take something out of it. That's a theme park ride too. And we call that a Ferris wheel. You just mean that it's slow and boring and dull and ah, shut it. No, not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is in terms of the Ferris wheel, when you get on a Ferris wheel, you sit down, you relax, you take in the sights, you take in the scenery, you take in the sounds, you can speak to your friend across the way in the car. You're allowed to think, you're allowed to let your mind process things, and you have some time to process all of this on that ride. And when the ride is done, you're able to walk off fine and dandy. Meanwhile, superhero films are like the roller coaster ride, where you're pretty much on there, you're told to shut the fuck up, just enjoy the ride. Just enjoy. Get on, shut up, watch the movie, and enjoy. Enjoy the ride. And this, that's the point. So in that case, yes, I totally agree. They're both theme park rides. Martin Scorsese is, his films are the Ferris wheel, while the superhero films are the roller coaster. Are we getting the similarity now? We, we getting it? All right. That's where I stand with this whole thing. Is it a big debacle? No. But you best, you best believe, hands down, 100%, that any upcoming superhero movie that is going to be released is going to be brought up. Hey, Martin Scorsese said this. What do you think about it? And of course, they're most likely going to bash Martin Scorsese because they're the ones in a superhero film right now, so they have to. Otherwise, the Disney overlords are going to kick them. <laughs> Just put that out there. So keep that in mind. So do I agree with Martin Scorsese? A little bit, yes. Movies are theme park rides. A simpler analogy? Superhero movies are like a refurbished, redesigned, built from the ground up DeLorean. Just built from the ground up. It's a brand new DeLorean that you made from the ground up and people are like, Oh, I remember that from Back to the Future. And now yeah, it's fun and yada, blah, blah. And they're having fun and just talking about it. Even though the car is not fully finished yet, they are nostalgic over the thing about it. Spider-Man, for example. He's got comics. He's got other movies. People are nostalgic for that. People love the fact that it's been redone again. But you see, that is a thing. While you're rebuilding the DeLorean, people are like, Ah, oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Now, Martin Scorsese's films are like a Cadillac. They're classical. They look good. They perform well. They're not built from scrap. They're not coming up from the ground up. They're not being spray painted all these decorative colors. They're not having people go, oh, I remember this from da 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 da. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's a classical vehicle. A Cadillac and DeLorean are both cars. Just different types, different brands, different degrees. It's like comparing a Porsche to a Kia. A Ford to a Ferrari, if you will. Same general premise. That said, I do agree on some degree with Monster Corsese. But I disagree with the fact that he's going to try to dismiss them as movies. Sorry. They ran just like yours. The only difference is they didn't have the indie, the indie track to go under. If you want to say it that way. So, I'm Double R. I'm out. That was my point about this whole thing. And hopefully you all understand where I'm coming from. So, uh... Yeah, go to Weaponized Nerd Rage's channel, subscribe to him, subscribe to Razor Fist, Razor with a zero, not a frickin' O, there's a reason for that, so go subscribe to them, enjoy your time, have fun, I'm Double R, I'm out, not like I have to push for people who are like 5 billion percent more subscribers than me, but the point is, my point is, I will still push for them, 
only for the fact of, even though I may disagree on some topics of either of them, it doesn't matter. Still watch your content. I'll still promote them. So I'm Double R. I'm out. Y'all have a good day.